And good morning, folks. Welcome to the Water Cooler with At Woody Smalls here on Monday, March the 25th. Um, can't believe March is already almost gone, and all of the fun of the beginning of the tournament is also over. We're down to the Sweet 16 uh, in the NCAA tournament with March Madness. And I don't know about you, but my Sweet 16 is a very interesting look. Uh, I have six of the 16 teams. And those six teams are Louisville, Duke, Michigan State, Miami, Florida, and Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, that's how I roll, folks. Can't pick any of the other games right, uh, but I can uh, see the uh, Cinderella and Florida Gulf Coast and be able to pick that. But when one of your teams is the Mercer Bears, who also play uh, BYU tonight in the NIT, um, you see them play Florida Gulf Coast, and you know Florida Gulf Coast beat Miami, and you watch ACC basketball like I do, and you know that's a solid team. You're willing to to go with the fact that they can win the first game as well as match up and beat anybody in the second game once they get through that one. And they should be an interesting matchup for Florida too, but you know we'll discuss that later on in the week. So hopefully your brackets are a little bit better than my uh, six that I have left standing. Uh, I guess with that being said, I still have three of the four, final four, and I still have my championship game between Louisville and Miami uh, scheduled. So we shall see what happens as we move forward, to say the least. So uh, that's pretty much the topic of discussion today. You know, everybody taking a look at uh, the wonderful teams they have left. Of course, Florida Gulf Coast is the one team everybody is talking about. Um, for and for good right. I mean, they do have a little bit of that um, UNLV esque. You know, they they love to do you know to run and gun and you know throw the alley oops and make you know questionable passes and, and take that push that envelope. But you know they have the confidence to do it, and uh, they're definitely pushing the envelope. Um, and it's exciting to, you know to watch. It's not just some team that's running a scheme or a system. Uh, that happens to be just matching up and doing the right things. It's just a fun basketball team to watch. Um, and, you know, their recruiting um, is going to go through the roof with all this as well, uh, especially if they do give Florida um, all they can handle and or beat Florida uh, coming up um, this weekend. Uh, it should be interesting because uh, when your dorms are on the beach, um, pretty hard not to uh, want to choose uh, to go there, to say the least. Uh, other than that, to talk about around the water cooler this morning, uh, Major League Baseball is in its final week of spring training, and uh, teams will start wrapping up uh, the spring training slate on Thursday and Friday uh, this week, uh, again, preparing to head home and uh, going to start the season either on uh, Sunday or Monday of next week. Um, so we, here we are. Everything is definitely clicking along for spring, except for the wind and the cold and the snow and everything else that's out there. The spring is looking good. Uh, and with that being said, too, uh, take a look today at rantsports.com uh, backslash MLB, uh, either on the rantsports.com page for my top 25 bold predictions for the upcoming Major League Baseball season. Should be an interesting read. Hopefully it'll tick off half of you, and the other half will absolutely love me for it. Because uh, I'm not doing my job if I'm not ticking off half the folks out there. So with that being said, have a great Monday. Uh, enjoy talking about your uh, brackets that are ablaze um, right now with all of your awful picks. And uh, just, let, just a reminder, they we're all in the same boat with you. Have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow for the Water Cooler with Atwoody Smalls. See you.